Right, so today's brew the post, we have the new Edward Typhoon or Tiffy. Uh, it's 148, we're used to the 124 that's been coming out just in the last couple of three years, Premier Fix. And now uh, Edward have made or have used a third party plastic to put with their Edward Brasson and PE. So, basically, have a quick look. We have a nice box art, and then we've got six different schemes. All nice, looking good. Kit number is 1131. Pieces. We've got the Brasin on there. It's a Typhoon Mark 1B car door, has a guard plastic parts. Usual Eddard photo etch and resin and cartograph decals. So, I'll put this out of the way for the moment. <clears throat> and we'll come straight into the instructions. Nice information about all the, instru the instructions about the typhoon. Evolution of the canopy from when it went from bubble top to um, into the car door version. It's looking good. And lots of different things. Parts you're not going to use, highlighted in blue, either resin or PE. Instrument panel going in or being done. Seat being readied. Scaffolding system going on with PE to enliven that. Looking all good there, going together. Then we come to putting it all together with the seat belts, all looking great. On the plating on the back, loads of internals going on for the side walls, and then bringing the two together with the air intakes or the engine intakes, and so on. No engine in this whatsoever. Wings going together, tail planes going on. All the bits and pieces coming together, looking nice. Let's see, undercarriage going down there, lovely. Lumps and bumps going on. Bombs, guns, guns look absolutely amazing. Photo which inside the canopy looking good. Different bits and pieces, prop going together. Prop going on, really looking nice canopy going on as well you can have the canopy open or closed which is fantastic excuse me a bit more foot away to around the actual car door part of it and then the uh, die cut masks all there to use Different markings, one from Maltersham, which is my favourite obviously, it's local, or 40 miles local anyway, with a nice white nose, which will be the one I will do at some point. Tangmere, all basically the same colour mark, the same markings, just different designations, or well, those ones are black underneath, where this one is your grey, your, your medium seed grey with your D-Day stripes. All looking lovely. That's from Whittingham, which Whittingham, Wittering, lid, lid again. Then your stencil data, and then a little bit of information on the best 109s you can buy. Absolutely superb. Right, put that to one side. Straight into the plastic. It all does come in one bag, which I'm not keen on, but there you go. That's life. So we've got some lovely recessed and raised panel detail. Looks really nice. Again, the only issue I've got is the single bag, so you get this rubbing. I'm going to say it once. These are all, all the kit is rubbed, rubbed over. I have had this out of the kit, out of the bag, to show someone this afternoon. But it's all out of the bag, in one bag, and it rubs. And bit of polish and that'll be fine but that's not a point we shouldn't need to do it so the main doors looking good some nice raised rivets and some also some recessed 
looking lovely ejection pin marks are there but they will be hidden by the actual undercarriage nothing in here to worry about because this will all be won't be seen when it's together but looking good other side now on the other set of doors they've got a little bit of um, detail on them but these ones have got nothing whatsoever so they have on the inside so whether they were like that or not I don't know I'm not an official I don't know on typhoons mm, I only ever built one I think in my life and that was a 172 airfix but all in all looks nice um, weight on wheels which we won't be using simply because um, we've got resin ones which we'll see in a little while tail planes very nicely detailed as usual very intricate parts looking good exhausts look very very ordinary shall we say but the guns look absolutely fabulous they are well raked and very very well molded no hard hint of flash a beautiful instrument panel now this to be painted by hand if you have the skill um, this thing will be absolutely amazing when it's done if we've done nicely short shot on the sprue gate there look we very rarely see see just basic but it's all built up with uh, PE which makes it look really really nice just pick these out of the box as they come same sort of sprue again just the other side looks really nice prop looks fantastic a little bit of flash to clean up but nothing major looking good really nice again some little bits of bobs back of the seat where the uh, armor goes looks nice nothing major there really just little bits and the aerials got two for the bombs just general what are they 200 pound block bombs I don't know 50 pounds I really don't know I haven't done my research yet so I don't know but that looks really nice underneath the wings nicely detailed on the landing gear base and gear bay look really nice actually some nice work with a wash bit of um, Alclad 2 wash look great in there a bit of a paint up bright brush look great detail again spot on as per usual some really nice rivet and work looks really really good we come up with the last piece of styrene which is the top of the wings you, I don't know if you can see that on the camera the, camera's a GoPro but I'm not sure if that's going to pick that up there is scuff marks all over these and that ain't good um, we have some more exhausts I did do a bit of polishing on this earlier I'll do the other one as I had a mate round I'll shoe him but there's a bit of scuffing along here so really all you're going to do is this come over with a, a very fine polishing sponge and just polish it up it doesn't take two minutes but we shouldn't have to do it I don't think anyway well, that's me that would make a lovely um, thing for a, a base for a black metal uh, a natural metal finish that would be fantastic right we'll carry on with the styrene and we'll look at the glass now I noticed earlier this is spidered everywhere there's spider mark on the door what I call spider webs that they're, they're, they're like a crazy a craze in it the whole thing is crazed but if you look through it it looks perfectly clear it doesn't wobble the lines or anything but looking at it close to at a slight angle whether that's because they're thick or they just haven't I mean this is an old kit but 
has to go hopefully caught up now and it looks like this is an old type moulding of clear parts they're not it's not like hobby boss who are spot on at the moment with it but there you go you've got a bit of instrument um sorry head up display come target your do your light covers i'll put that straight back in there so not to offend it anymore out the way for now there's no point getting these out they're cartographed they are perfect they are beautiful colors they're slightly glossy which i think is a good thing but they do look very very nice it's not much carrier film apart from along these letters here which we can always trim off not an issue stencils 148 are readable every single one is readable they are not just ordinary stencils that you get on some of these kits where they're just gobbledygook and you can't read them but you can on all of these looking lovely that's nice keep them over there so they're safe then we come to the Eddard PE best in the business obviously beautiful instrument panel um, looking really really nice made up of one two three four five six parts so it's going to look fantastic when it's done and ready and we have another sheet on the back with all just ordinary PE we actually have a seat here specifically of PE so we'll be using that one and not the kit one because the kit one does look a bit boring this looks awesome and the rear pads bulkheads gears all sorts of things the canopy stuff we talked about earlier all beautifully done really nice can't complain about that that's fantastic i'll put that in there and the resin resin wheel we've got two types of resin wheels you can see the difference on those two if you can really see it but those two looking really good you've got the name Dunlop written on them which is fantastic weight on brilliant can't complain about them whatsoever exhausts a lot better than the kit ones as you can see they really do work and they've all got holes so you can see through them could be drilled out a little more but I wouldn't want to drill them at too much fantastic and then two rear wheels so there's obviously two different types of them absolutely fantastic look like the real thing can't go wrong with that and of course you've got a die cut mask to go with it as well now this kit cost 34 pounds to me from a lady online we all know who that is but it's going to be £38 on the market. Is it worth it? What you got? If it's Hasegawa selling that, I suppose that would be £29.99. Then you've got the photo etch and the resin, which is another perhaps £15. That's £44. Quid. So at £38, this really is a steal. And I think, my honest opinion is, this is the way to go if you're going to build kits with details. So my thoughts are if you like your typhoons you like a few different colors well not color schemes because the color schemes are all the same but um if you like a few different areas or whatever they come from you can't beat this one go out and buy it 